Hi, in this video I am doing a little Q&A. I made a community post asking you guys to leave me some questions. Just a heads up though, a lot of the questions have to do with art advice. However, I am not educated on this, so don't take what I say as facts. And in the background I will be redoing my UC's character sheets because we need it. So, the first question is, how long does it take you to finish a page in the sketchbooks and where do you get the motivation to finish? Those two questions. Well, I would say on average my usual sketchbook page takes me a couple hours maybe if I'm doing a finished color drawing with a background and like decorations, then it's a couple hours. But lately I've been doing a lot of simple pages that take me a couple minutes, but the longest I've spent on a page is probably four days. Four days in my recent sketchbook session, because I just wasn't feeling it really in the process, but we managed, we pulled through. And in terms of motivation, I don't know. I don't know, I just, I just do it, I don't really have anything else to do. How long did it take for you to find a style you like drawing with? That took a while, a long while. Uh, for years my art was all over the place really. One month I would draw chibis, next month I would draw more realism and just like constantly like that. But in 2020 I started posting online and that kind of made me focus on one style and one subject, I guess. And just over time it kept changing and morphing into what I have right now. I don't think there was like a sudden switch or anything. And my style still is changing to this day. Sometimes I, I don't know, see a drawing and notice a cool detail about it that I think would look nice in my style. So I just kind of borrow it or something and yeah but also you don't need like unique or an original style to be considered a good artist just have fun just have fun and over time it will become more yours do you have any tips for beginner artists okay first as much as i hate to say this but I feel like right now the internet is not the best place for beginner artists. I would love for people to be able to express themselves, but unfortunately the internet is scary and people here are mean and if you're young, it's, it's not gonna be good for you. I mean, I'm an adult and I sometimes feel like crap when people comment stupid stuff. But artistically speaking, I would say take your time with it, really don't push yourself too much. Everything takes time, even learning the basics takes time. And don't feel bad when you don't get something right first try, that's the point of learning. And obviously the classic practice and study, I know it's vague and everyone says that, but it's true, there's no like cheat code or a hack that will immediately make you good. Um, what I did when I was young is I would replicate art, I would like try to closely copy, it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> Watching tutorials, of course, there's countless of them on internet and tracing also can help. If that helps you learn faster, you can do that. Just not, don't steal art from other people, it's for learning and maybe like partially tracing your references. But don't trace other people's art and just post it as finished drawings. Okay, I'm not gonna go off on this. But yeah, have fun and stay safe on the internet. Do you have any other hobbies besides art? I like to crochet, I, I like to sew, and just really anything that has to do with crafting, I guess. 
but drawing is definitely my main interest or hobby. What's one of your favorite drawings that you did? It changes all the time, so usually it's just like my most recent drawing that I made. That's my favorite, so I'll just put up something else on the screen, I guess. Where did your username come from? What inspired it? That's a hard sentence for me. <laughs> Basically, I had a different username that I hate uh, and I just needed to change it so I ask, asked for suggestions and someone suggested this and that's it. How do you make your art of real life people look so alike to them? Where does your inspiration come from? Uh, I guess I just do it a lot and over time I get better at it. The only thing I can really like point out is sometimes less details is better, I guess. I don't know how else to explain this, but if you like really need to learn, I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials on how to capture someone's likeness better. And I just get inspiration from social media, really, like Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, that's it. <laughs> Have you ever traced being a beginner artist? I don't think so, but not because like it's bad or whatever, it's just because I didn't think of that. <laughs> like I literally found out that it's a thing only when I got online. <laughs> The closest I've been to tracing is, like I mentioned, closely copying others' art, especially Wins Club official art. I love that. I love doing that. For how long have you been an artist? Who is your favorite artist? I have been drawing my whole life, pretty much, for as long as I can remember. I've always loved drawing, and I don't really have a one favorite artist right now. I'm very indecisive, I hate it. <laughs> Can you show some of your crochet projects? I will try to find pictures. <laughs> I don't have that many on hand. I used to make plushies and dolls, but lately I've made a beanie, a cardigan, and a bag. Favorite mediums for art? Right now it's definitely markers. I just... I love that. Whether it's big markers or felt pens or liners, I love them. I literally did like 12 pages of felt marker sketches. Felted marker sketches. It's so fun, they're so fun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How and when did you start taking art seriously? What's your best advice when it comes to art? Do you plan on working in the art domain? How do you define or call your art style? Traditional or digital? So I started taking art more seriously when I started posting online in 2020, both on Instagram and TikTok. On Instagram for a while there wasn't much feedback, so it, it was okay, but on TikTok, I think a couple months into posting, I like a video of mine got 60,000 views, I think, and I wasn't expecting it at all. And obviously, more people saw it. I got a lot of feedback, criticism, and that's when I was like, oh, people can actually like analyze and see what you're doing. I should probably get better so more people like it. It's... I'm out of breath. <laughs> and kind of transitioning from that to the second question, my best art advice, don't force yourself and don't make art into a chore because at the same time when I got, when I started getting views on TikTok is when I felt like I should post every single day and so Sometimes I'll, it would be fine, like, I'll be inspired and motivated to make the videos, but other times I would have to force myself to come up with something because 
Oh my god, if I don't post on TikTok for a day, everyone's gonna unfollow me, Rola. It's stupid, don't do that. Do I plan on working in the art domain? I, I guess so, I want to be a tattoo artist, ideally. I don't know what to call my art style. I get this question quite a bit on TikTok. Like, what is this art style called? I don't know. If you have a name for it, leave it in the comments, I guess, but I don't have one. <laughs> and traditional or digital, for me, it's both. I like both in different ways. How do you get inspiration for a drawing when you are in a creative block? Basically, I just do something else. Uh, usually my creative block or art block doesn't last very long, maybe two weeks at most. And so in that time, I just take on a crochet project or sew something or, I don't know, focus on making videos. Just anything else until I feel motivated again. What's your favorite part of the drawing process? It's coloring in both traditional and digital. I love it. What inspired you to make a sketchbook like yours? With my older sketchbooks, I full on do not remember why I started doing that. And with my more recent one, I was just watching a lot of sketchbook tours on YouTube. <laughs> really colorful ones specifically. Alter Me Art, mostly, on YouTube. I love his videos. How do you keep a consistent art style? I draw every goddamn day. <laughs> what? I meant to say goddamn day. Okay, sure. Yeah, I just draw every day. However, it's not a requirement to have a consistent style. Personally, I think it's cool when people can do different things. Which fandoms do you like to make the most art of? What are some of your favorite pages spreads in your sketchbook? The fandoms are probably South Park and My Little Pony. I, ju I just love when the character designs are relatively simple because I can have fun with them. I don't know if you know this, but I love redesigning characters. And when the original design is super simple, like in South Park, And my favorite pages and spreads, I guess I'll just put them up on the screen. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, a lot of questions had to do with my drawing process, like how I color, how I draw bodies, yada yada, and I think I'll make a separate video on it, because it's a lot to just say. And also there was a lot of overlap in the question, so I had to skip a couple. I'm sorry if I didn't pick yours or if I didn't answer yours at all. <laughs> I struggle with the stuff, I now realize. If you have any more questions, you can ask them in the comments, I'll try to answer. <laughs> but I hope this was somewhat helpful, again, I'm not educated on this, I am just speaking from my own experience. And that's it for now, here's the drawings I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone who responded, I really, really do appreciate it. And thank you for watching this video, you know, you can like, subscribe, like the video, whatever, or maybe check out my other socials, <coughs> but yeah, thank you so much again, and bye!